Okay, uh, these are um, the. I made this make this quick video to go over the oil drop diagrams that you might see in the Minds on Physics assignment that we're working on in class. Um, the idea is there's something, most likely a car, that's dripping oil, and it's dripping oil consistently every second, or the time is consistent. So the, the time interval between each drop is the same, whatever it happens to be. Just think of it as one second between here, between here, between here, and it's just dripping oil onto the ground. And you should be able to look at these oil drop diagrams along with the arrow, which tells you the direction that the object is going. And you should be able to tell me which way the velocity vector is pointing, something about the motion, whether it's speeding up or slowing down, or has a constant velocity, or and um, which way the acceleration vector is pointing, or which way it's being accelerated. All right, so let's try and do a few. I got three of them here. There's not really that many options because you can only be, because we're talking about uh, motion in a straight line, you can either have constant velocity or you can be speeding up or slowing down because we're talking about motion in one dimension in these cases, okay? So let's just look at the first one and the first thing I noticed is the arrow was pointing to the left. The arrow tells you the direction that the object is traveling and the direction that the object is traveling is the direction that the velocity vector is pointing. And in this case, it's traveling to the left. So the velocity vector is pointing to the left. The object is going in the leftward direction. Okay, and now we wanna look at it and we can see that the distance between each drop is the same all the way across. Now, does that mean we have constant velocity or does that mean we're speeding up or we're slowing down? Okay, now, as you know, if the time interval between each drop is the same, then the velocity is constant. Constant velocity. Oops, velocity. And you should be able to think to yourself, okay, constant velocity, what does that mean in terms of my acceleration? What is my acceleration if my velocity is constant? All right, and constant velocity means my velocity is not changing. If I'm going three meters per second, then the next second I'm still going three meters, and the next second I'm going three meters again. So my acceleration in this case is zero meters per second squared, and there's no direction associated with that. Okay, that's one case. All right, here is the next case. All right, this one right here is number two. Now. Right away, you can see that the space between the dots is, in this case, decreasing because we're going this way. And therefore, we know that our velocity is not constant in this case. All right, so in this case right here, you can see that the arrow is pointing to the right. The arrow tells you the direction you're going, and the direction you're going is the direction that the velocity vector is pointing. And in this case, it's to the right, okay? Now, the question is, is it speeding up or slowing down? We already figured out it's not constant because the space between the dots is not the same. So in this case, we wanna know, is it speeding up or slowing down? Now, you have to kind of figure out what this is telling you. You're going to the right, and the drops are getting closer and closer and closer together. And eventually, they would be right on top of each other, and that means if they're right on top of each other, we must be standing still. So because we know our velocity is changing, you can tell as you go across this way, or as the vehicle or the object goes this way, it's slowing down. All right, it's slowing down. So I just put SD, and you can see eventually they would all be right on top of each other, and we would have slowed down, or we would have come to a stop, or come to rest, as we say in physics. All right, now, our velocity vector is pointing to the right. We're slowing down, so what does that mean about the direction of our acceleration vector? in which direction are we being accelerated, all right? And you can tell if I'm going this way and I'm slowing down, something must be accelerating me or something must be forcing me to come to a stop coming from the other direction, all right? We haven't talked about forces yet, but of course we will soon enough. So that means that in this case, my acceleration is to the left. And once again, you can tell One's going one way, one's pointing the other way. That means we're slowing down, okay? All right, so here's the third option. Uh, and you can tell right away the velocity vector is pointing to the left. 
that means, excuse me, the arrow is pointing to the left. That means the vehicle or the object is going to the left. That means the velocity vector, velocity vector is pointing to the left. Now, somewhat obviously, but let's just go through it. Here's the dots. The dots are getting farther apart. The time between each dot is the same. So you can kind of tell that if this was one second and this was a certain distance, this is one second again, but it's a greater distance. That means our speed is greater as we go across this one from right to left. So we know in this case that we're speeding up. All right. Now, if we're going to the left and we're speeding up, we're going that way and we're speeding up in that way, that must mean that we are being accelerated in the same direction that we're going and our acceleration vector points to the left also. All right. So that's really the, the, the only cases. We could take this one and switch it around, but it would just be going right and right. And just like we could take the second one here and turn it over and it would be <coughs> left, right. But the idea is exactly the same. All right. When I do these, I have a piece of paper next to me. I have a pencil and I have my notes and I draw the vectors or I write down right and left and I can write the vector. This one's going to the right. This one's going to the left and I can see that they're opposite and that means I'm slowing down. All right. So I think that should take care of it. It's relatively straightforward once you get the pattern down and you see what the idea is. Okay. Thank you.